There's curly hair, straight hair, and wavy hair, but bad hair does not exist. This is said by Zulma Azul Brown, author of children's book, Bad Hair Does Not Exist, in which, through an amusing story and colorful illustration, she breaks the stereotypes of beauty, teaching her readers the appropriate terminology for each type of hair, as well as how to love themselves for who they are. The message of the book would be to look within yourself, you know, and be one with your essence, meaning be one with who you are. And that includes every aspect of yourself. That includes your body size, that includes your hair, that includes your nose, your cheekbone, your lips, you know, because the minute we are happy with who we are, the better we feel and the more positive energy we're gonna give out to the world. This inspiring story has set her to travel around the city, spreading her message in different media platforms. Directly from Miami to the Bronx, Despierta America showed an interest in her story. Yo creo que en esta vida nada ocurre por casualidad. He descubierto en Zulma una mujer excepcional, un ser humano fuera de serie, una mujer que verdaderamente eh, no solamente quiere salir adelante ella, sino quiere salir adelante con toda su comunidad. La historia de ella es un ejemplo, una inspiración para todos nosotros que verdaderamente deberíamos fijarnos en esos pequeños detalles que hacen la gran diferencia. To learn to love themselves and respect the diversity in others are two aspects that this book teaches, especially when it comes to preventing bullying at a young age. What started as a story just for her daughters has become something bigger, a book series that helps girls increase their self-esteem. I went to my caregiver and at that point my three-year-old daughter's hair uh, was tousled, which means Bella had taken out all of her ponytails. So when um, I had a conversation with the babysitter and she said, Sulma, you have to relax your daughter's hair because it's bad hair. And I really had to take a step back for a moment because I know for a fact that she loved my daughter and that we had a mutual respect. And at that point, I decided to have a conversation just based on love, uh, which included different terminologies so that we never have to use the term bad hair again. The author made two big announcements about the future of the series. One being an app created to both entertain and educate young kids while reading the book. The second is the newest installment to the book series titled, My Best Friend Likes a Boy More Than Me. You can get your copy of Bad Hair Does Not Exist at Barnes & Noble, on Amazon, or badhairdoesnotexist.com. This is Marie Batista reporting for Boston.